Welcome to the Dream Date Show, the show where your dreams can come true. Today we have a beautiful model and airline stewardess, Jennifer Bardo. Her hobbies are bike riding, jogging, swimming, and kissing, but not in that order. <laughs> now it's time to meet Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Bob. So good to meet you, and I'm so happy to be on the show. I never meet any single man as a stewardess. They are all married, but they lie. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure you'll have a great date. Um, if you'll take a seat, we'll start with these uh, bachelors, and I want to introduce them to the audience. Um, uh, bachelor number one is a nuclear scientist, also loves photography and airline stewardesses. Meet Mark Thomas. Wave to him, Mark. Hmm? Uh, wait. Wait. Oh, oh. I did it myself. Okay, bachelor number two is a real estate magnet. I mean a magnet uh, from New York, Ronald Rump. <laughs> Wave to him, Ron. And <coughs> bachelor number three is a delicatessen manager at a sushi wan. He is also an expert at cooking, and he loves to drink sake. <laughs> I hope, Jennifer, that you're relaxed and ready to ask these eligible bachelors these questions. And we do have a fine group here for you. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. <laughs> I have my questions, and now I'm ready to go. OK. Bachelor number one, I'm an old-fashioned girl. Would you pick me up at the door, and what would you bring me? I'd bring uh, red roses, and uh, I'd pick you up in a limousine. and. Uh, and wherever you want to go, uh, we would go there and uh, have a very good time. Thank you. And bachelor number two. Well, I just got back from the Gulf, you know, and uh, I was on reserves, and uh, well, they kind of kicked me out now, but <laughs> no big deal. But uh, I got this Humvee, this four-wheel vehicle that I had over in the Gulf, and pick you up in that. You know, right now it's a red color; it used to be sand color. So we can drive around on the beach, look around for some oil slicks or something, and have a good time. You know what I mean? Thank you, bachelor number two. And bachelor number three, would you pick me up at the door, and what would you bring for me? Look at it. I is the one. Yeah. And you do the one. Yeah, it's a very good time. Ooh, that sounds very exciting. Bachelor number two, I like rap and rock and roll music. What type of music do you like? I like rock and roll and rap in that order. So, uh, you know, I'm flexible. Bachelor number three. Ooh, that sounds very good. Where do you listen to your music? It's about Japan and uh, Chimokani and Kalia, North Africa. I think you said the bedroom. Ah. Mm. Contestant number one, what would you say to my mother and father if I brought them to meet you? A very nice gentleman and a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Bachelor number two, what would you say to my mother and father? Well, I'd say, uh, it's nice meeting you. It's uh, been a long time since I've been with a woman. And, <laughs> and you know, over in the Gulf, I saw a few. But they had these veils on their faces, and Ooh. you really couldn't see too much, you know? So uh, He's already on. I know I'd enjoy you. Bachelor number one, what is your idea of a great night out on the town? Some uh, nice slow dancing and uh, uh, very nice meal and uh, and uh, hmm. I can't think right now. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty relaxing. It sounds like a nice time. How about you, Bachelor Number Two? Well, first we'd go out and do some rap music, and then we'd uh, dance the night away, and then we'd uh, hop in my Humvee, maybe drive downtown. Check out some uh, nightclubs, maybe 10, 12 nightclubs, a couple drinks in each one, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then uh, take you home uh, or else you can go to my place. I got a nice tent. I see. And bachelor number three, what's the great time you're going to show me? Well, it's a 
Bachelor number one. Do you think we should kiss on the first date? Yes, I, I believe so. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a way of showing that you uh, actually like me and uh, we, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. You know. How about you, bachelor number two? Yeah, we can start out with kissing. You know, I kind of, I can like to kiss uh, <laughs> for maybe half hour, something like that. And then as uh, things progress, never know what might happen. Bachelor number three, what do you think of kissing on the first date? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. No, no, no. <laughs> even kiss my lips. Oh, no, even. Uh, uh, I got uh, sushi breath. <laughs> uh. I like a man with just a little hair on his chest. Bachelor number two, how would you describe your chest? A little hair, just a little hair, but muscular. Okay, that's all the time we have for questions, Jennifer. Uh, I hope you can make your decision. What do you think it'll be bachelor number one? Or bachelor number two? Or finally, bachelor number three. Well, it's now time to pick the uh, bachelor of your choice, Jennifer, and have you made your decision? It was very difficult. They're all very exciting men, very interesting, but my decision is bachelor number three. Bachelor number three. Yeah. So he's a good contestant, and uh, he's congratulating the other two now. But here's bachelor number one, a nuclear scientist who loves photography and airline stewardesses, meet Mark Thomas. Oh, Jesus. Oh. 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 And bachelor number two, a real estate magnate in New York. His name is Ronald Rump. Oh. Hey, too bad. And contestant number three, the one that you chose, is a Samurai Dill contestant uh, manager, and he runs a sushi one. His name is Samurai. Come and meet your date, Jennifer Samurai. And you have won a trip. You have both won a trip to go to the Bermuda Triangle, sponsored by We Hope You Come Back Travel Agency. What does your hope, Bob, host, Bob Banks, hope to see you again next week? when a bachelor will be a retired Civil War general, and the three bachelorettes will be Dallas cheerleaders. See you next week. Say goodbye, everybody. Oh, no. To the Dream Show.